All right, this is Andrew Cowboy, and today I want to show you guys how to install a custom ROM on your Kindle Fire HDX. Uh, first of all, um, I hope it's obvious that you're going to need root on the Kindle Fire HDX. That's pretty simple, actually. And uh, I have a rooting video uh, for both the 7, 8.9, and second generation. Um, the link is in the description of the video, and it also will be at the top of the video. Uh, you can click on that link now to go root. You also don't need safe strap. Uh, which you can see is listed up here. This is an app that you need to install on your uh, stock software and then that, that will enable you to install a recovery which is this recovery that you see here. Um, and then you can reboot to this. And again, I have another video uh, which again is in the description and at the top of the video right now. You can click on it and that will show you how to install Safe Strap and how to use it. Uh, but what you're going to do is once you're here, what's really important about Safe Strap is to know uh, where you're working and what you have is ROM slots and you can see um, here that it shows a stock uh, it shows stock ROM slot I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit so you can see um, and that's really important so what what it is that we don't want to do anything on the stock ROM slot we always want to work on on another ROM slot that way we we um, basically don't have a chance of breaking so what we're gonna do if you want to install a custom ROM come in here and pick a ROM slot if you've never um, pick one before you're gonna have to create it so when you uh, click on ROM slot um, I'm gonna zoom out here you're gonna need to activate it okay so hit activate and then here um, um, you'll you'll create one if you hadn't created one now I've already created one which is why it, it shows it just picked it so you can see on the top now it changed from the red to the green ROM slot as you can see so now and I can I can always go back if I go back to boot options I can pick stock ROM, hit activate. You see the top now it changes back to ROM slot. But you're gonna want to go into um, a ROM slot for sure. Don't do anything on the stock. Um, and if you haven't created one, what it'll, what it'll do is it'll give you this sort of screen where you can pick uh, the partition size and everything, and you can then create the ROM slot. But I've already created one in ROM slot one, so we're gonna go there. So once you're in ROM slot one, you activate it and now you know that you're activated because at the top it says ROM slot. Uh, then you can go back home and now you can install your custom recovery and really it's pretty simple. You just go into install and you uh, you want to download the custom ROM and usually this is, you're going to find this on XDA and you're going to need to transfer that to your Kindle before you, you get into here. Um, you can do that through the stock ROM uh, and just find the folder where you where you put the file. I put it in the downloads folder uh, so I'm going to scroll up here so you guys can see. So I'm in a downloads folder. So you simply go in a downloads folder and then you have to find uh, the file name um, so you guys can see here. Now the file name will be your custom ROM, whatever it may be. Uh, I actually just have the Thor Amazon. This is just the stock Amazon software. Um, and basically all you do is just tap on it um, and then down here you can just swipe uh, swipe to install and that's really it. It's, um, I'm going to show you here in a second. Uh, we're going to just go ahead and do that. So we're going to swipe here and you'll see some uh, it's telling you that it's that it's right in the file. There's a progress bar. Uh, you can follow that and uh, that'll really be it. Once you're done with this you can basically reboot and it will uh, reboot into this ROM slot with this new software um, and that will be your custom um, uh, custom ROM. So that's really pretty much all it's going to take to install a custom ROM. You activate a ROM slot and then you simply install the software on that ROM slot and then you boot into it. And what, what it is is that if you then want to go back to your stock Amazon, you, you just come back in here, activate the stock, stock slot and then reboot into that and you can go back to your normal Amazon software. So this gives you a chance to basically switch between Amazon and a custom ROM. So if you want Google Play Store, you can have it on the custom ROM and you can have access to all your Google Play stuff. And then if you want access to the Amazon stuff, you can boot back into the stock. So uh, that's pretty much it. I hope that makes it easier for you guys to have uh, get much more of your Kindle Fire HDX. And um, you know, be sure to subscribe to our channel and uh, keep uh, tuned to us as we uh, bring you more videos and good stuff in the Kindle Fire HDX. And Android Cowboy out.